Camp Randall Stadium, a place where there's been overtime thrillers won, records broken, but most of all, Husker heartbreak. Nebraska hasn't had any success here in Madison, Wisconsin since joining the Big Ten, but despite being 0-4 entering tomorrow's matchup against 16th ranked Wisconsin, Scott Frost and the Big Red know that the measuring stick for success is here in the Big Ten West. I think that's everyone's goal, obviously, is to beat Wisconsin, something we, we need to do. They're a tough team and a team that's ruled on our side of the division, uh, I think, for a little while here. So it's definitely a team that we're, we're uh, aiming to, t to take off. They're just a really well-coached team. They never beat themselves, uh, which has been the polar opposite of what we've been. Uh, you don't see them make any kind of mistakes that will get them beat. It's a front seven game all over again, and, uh, and we can make it right this time. And, you know, a, good, a great running back, Jonathan Taylor. And, uh, you know, everyone know about the history of the Wisconsin old lineman. I think Paul's a good coach, um, good man, and uh, he's got his program where he wants it. And uh, we're ready to go up and give him, give him a battle. You, you about play Wisconsin, they're going to run it, and we in Camp Randall, so let's do it. Just doing it. Won't be easy. Huskers enter tomorrow, 17 and a half point underdog to Wisconsin. But hey, as Scott Frost hopes to avoid an own five star to his tenure as Nebraska's head coach, crazier things have happened in college football. With the Huskers in Madison, Wisconsin, Andrew Ward, Channel 8, Eyewitness News, Sports.